Hello and welcome back. Today we're looking at my ROG Ally for the third time. So the first time was a very sloppy unboxing uh, in the early days of this channel. The second was a six months later impression and now we're a year in. And how are we doing? Well, the control sticks are pretty good since I put the bumpers on. Uh, I really still do not like Armory Crate. In fact, I tried using uh, alternative software to replace it and, well, Asus really wants you to use Armory Crate because it keeps re-enabling itself uh, despite all my efforts to permanently disable it. And finally, my SD card slot finally died a few months ago, nearly a year into owning this thing. I still have mixed feelings. I've gotten a lot of use out of it. I've used it on international flights, but I want to try something different. I'm going to install Bazite. Bazite is an alternative operating system to make it a bit more like a Steam Deck. It's based on Linux and you can install it from a USB drive. So I have a hub here, I have a keyboard and a mouse, and I have my Bazite installer USB. I'll put some instructions in the description below on how you can get that set up. So let's give it a go. First things first, you want to shut down your RG Ally. I don't really care, so I'm just going to hold down the button. So now we need to boot the Ally into the BIOS so we can boot from our USB drive. Turn it on and wait for the splash screen to come up. Not this one, the next one. Now press the volume down button. And we booted into the BIOS. Okay, so now we should be able to boot from another device. So let's see here. So we just need to navigate to the boot menu, tap boot menu, and then we'll select USB partition two. And now we should be able to install Bazite. So we can just up arrow and I guess press A. I do have a mouse and I do have a keyboard to make my life easier during this process. So right now Linux is doing its thing. Okay, so we've got a user interface and we have the Bazite deck installer. Okay, so we want English. Let's go with United States. Hit continue. Installation destination. So we select our disk and then we select automatic and then we go up here and press done. So your current Bazite software requires 16 gigabytes of space, including uh, ba, ba, ba. So I don't want a dual boot, so I'm gonna reclaim space. So let's see here. I'm going to, well, I'm gonna delete everything. I guess this is Windows. I guess we can keep the, nah, let's just wipe it. Let's just delete everything. All right, we're gonna reclaim all the space. All right, we're gonna hit begin installation and uh, we'll begin uh, the installation process. Oh, I got an error. Uh, device is active. Okay, okay, quit. Okay, so it failed a second time. Turns out I'm gonna have to manually nuke the Windows partition. So let's do that now. Okay, so we're booting into the Bazite installer again, but this time what we're going to do is we're gonna use the keyboard to go into the terminal and run some commands. So we just gotta wait for the OS to finish starting up. Okay, so we're in the installer. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is hit control function F1. We'll go to the TTY, then we need to go to F2 to change to a fresh terminal. So what we need to do is we need to find out our partition. So we'll do LSBLK. So it's NVMe zero and one. And what we're gonna do is, do we have DD? Yeah, we do have DD. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna DD input file equals dev random. And what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna hose the uh, partition. So we're gonna go output file equals dev slash nvme zero and one and we're just gonna press enter i think that's gonna nuke it i think we only need it for a few seconds control c to end that process lsblk there is no more nvme partition is blown away it's easy so we're gonna do is we're just gonna reboot okay so we're back in the installer and now we can just press continue Okay, so we can go and we can select our disk and we can go automatic and then we can press done. Uh, user creation, I'm gonna set up my own personal user. Um, we'll skip this. Okay, language, we're gonna keep that US English. Network, we'll leave that alone. Date and time, Australia. And then we'll begin the installation. Okay, it's finally working. So we'll uh, let it do its thing and check back. Okay, so the installation's done and we can restart the system. Okay, hopefully it boots into Bazite now. So far, so good. Uh, continue boot. Um, yeah, continue boot. And it says I need to load the kernel first. So that seems to be related to secure boot. So we need to turn that off. Okay, so we're back in the BIOS again and we're gonna disable secure boot. Okay, so we go to advanced mode, then we go to security, then we go to secure boot and we tap secure boot controlled and we set disabled. 
just like that. And then we press save, which is this button here. Okay, and then we'll reboot. And now we should be able to boot into Bazite, hopefully. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so the system did a reboot and it's booting up again. And let's see if it proceeds now to the OS fully. Okay, so now we see verifying installation and, ooh, we got Bazite. Okay, English and, ooh, Steam sounds. So I've connected to Wi-Fi, and instead of being greeted with a awful Windows desktop, I'm greeted with Steam. So I guess I'm just gonna use my phone to sign into Steam. Okay, so we got Steam now, and it says, welcome to Steam Deck, even though we're not on a Steam Deck. Very cool. All right, power button, volume button, have fun. Ah, oh, very cool. Very cool, so now it's just functioning like a Steam Deck. All right. Um... I guess a test is New Vegas. Now this was broken last time I tried on Windows, so let's install that. Okay, so New Vegas is taking some time to download. It says it's doing some sort of shader pre-caching update. It seems we also have a software update, so we have the Steam Deck client update for December 3rd. Let's, let's apply that uh, and restart, and then take a look at Fallout again. Okay, so New Vegas is installed. And let's see if it opens. So it would just crash on Windows due to a driver update. Um, and it, was, it wasn't it was fixed. And I checked maybe two months ago, and I still don't know if it's fixed. Okay, so it was stuck at 0% for a while. So it said it should go into compatibility menu. So I thought I'd try a different Proton. So uh, maybe Proton Experimental? Why not? What could go wrong? Okay, it's actually progressing this time. All right, here we go. Okay. All right. Options. Yeah, yeah, that's all fine. So it looks like New Vegas is running perfectly fine under Proton. And like I said, we can go here and we can adjust our performance. So we can change our max FPS. We can turn on some other neat things. So that's pretty cool. Let's try another game. So the game I'm currently playing through right now is Yakuza uh, Kiwami, so I thought I'd install that. So when I was trying to play this under Windows, it would bug out and the game would like minimize and it was just bad times and I just couldn't get it to work right. So let's see if it works fine under Proton. Yeah, this is running perfectly fine. Like, yeah, this is good. Call me and press. So apparently the suspend functionality is way better than it was on Windows. At least that's what I've read. So let's try that. So we just push this button, suspend it, does its little thing, push the button again, wake it up, and we're right back in the game, just like that. We didn't have to do pretty much anything. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah. Yeah, 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 very cool. And we can just, you know, can exit the game just like that. Yep, exit. Apparently, if you hit the paddle button here, right, it brings up a Bazite menu uh, where we can adjust TDP and we can turn off the RGB and turn it on. I, I don't like it, so I'm just gonna keep it off. Um, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. So yeah, that's what the paddle does. Anyway, call me impressed. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with Bazite. Uh, I was growing a bit tired of Windows on my ROG Ally, and Bazite has breathed a breath of fresh air into my Asus ROG Ally, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, not happy with, you know, my SD card slot being dead, but at least I've got a cool shiny OS. I should have done this sooner. So, um, highly recommend, but as you can see, the installation process was a little clunky for me, but um, maybe it'll be better for you. Um, I'll put some links in the description below where you can find some information on Bazite and guides on how to properly install it. And um, thanks again for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!